What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video. This one is specifically targeted at owners of the iPhone 4, 4S, or 5, or pretty much anybody that's looking to upgrade to the next generation of iPhone products. If you've been living under a rock, you may not have heard that on the 10th of September, Apple will be launching two brand new devices, the 5S and the 5C, and the rumors right now are that the products will actually be commercially available towards the end of the month on September the 20th. What does this mean for you, the owner of a previous generation. It means that the private market is about to be flooded with old generation devices and that means the value of your old iPhone is going to be dropping significantly as we get closer to that date of September the 20th and then it'll drop even further after the 20th. So this video here is to give you some ideas on what to do with your old device leading up to the launch of a new one and there are a couple of options. I wanna start out with the most obvious one, that's to sell your device privately to a friend, to a family member, or on something like Craigslist where you meet a person locally and sell your device that way. Now there are benefits and drawbacks to this particular strategy. Of course, the benefits are you will likely get the most money this way. You'll likely get the money the fastest, hopefully, <laughs> but there are some drawbacks too, which are you have to meet somebody you've never met before for a cash transaction. Some people are uncomfortable with that. And of course, you have to have the time to go out and do that. Now, if you're a busy person like myself, that might not necessarily work out so well. The next option is something that's been recently announced from Apple in which they will actually buy back your old device right in store. I believe this is being beta tested in a number of stores right now, but it has been confirmed. There are articles where you can read about this, although there is one major criticism here. Even though this is probably the easiest method since you're going to be in the Apple store anyways, or you might be in the Apple store anyways, uh, it also rewards you with the least amount of money. People are getting somewhere in the neighborhood of $250 for an iPhone 5. That doesn't sound so great and you know that you can get more money for that using other methods. Now there is a method that fits right in between the two that I've already talked about. It's called Nextworth. This is a site where you can trade in not just iPhones, also a number of other smart devices, uh, gaming devices, etc. But what you do here is you just head over to the website. I'll put a link down in the description and then you put in your device, answer a couple of very quick questions and they will immediately give you a quote right off the top. So this strategy may be the best of both worlds, giving you a little bit more money than what Apple is offering up, but providing a little bit more security than just meeting somebody randomly through Craigslist or otherwise doing a cash transaction. Regardless of which method you choose to use in order to sell your old device and get some value for it, I recommend you do it quickly as mentioned earlier in this video, you will see the value of your old device plummet as these new ones get launched. So consider this video a bit of a warning. Lastly, I've got a cool opportunity for you guys to win some brand new technology, including a 60 inch flat panel TV and complete home theater setup. This is courtesy of HH Greg in conjunction with Samsung. They're celebrating the launch of a brand new app. It's actually a game on iOS, Android and Kindle. It's called Endless Blitz and it's a football game actually pretty fun. You should definitely check it out. But it has that added perk of giving you the opportunity to win some cool stuff. And the download is completely free. I'll have the links down in the description. So not only is there a 60 inch 3D TV slash home theater system that's up for grabs, there's also daily prizes including Samsung tablets, Blu-ray players, gift cards, and there's even a trip for two to New York City to meet the former NFL coach Tony Dungy. So some pretty cool perks for doing something you'd probably enjoy enjoy doing anyways, that's playing games on your mobile device. I know you guys are big fans of doing that, so I thought I would make you aware of it. All the relevant links to everything I talked about in this video are down in the description. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Have a good one. Later, guys.